Yo, what is up guys? Ghostling here, and today we are going to be doing a Do They Deserve It. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we have a Tim. Now Tim is a silver mastery one trick, and he feels like he deserves a diamond. Now Tim, you've been DMing me for the last 10 days saying that you're the absolute best mastery on EOS servers in silver, of course. Why do you feel like you deserve a diamond on NA? Well, as I keep saying, I am a uh, best G in silver, honestly, and uh, I keep stomping the silver games. Uh, I'm talking to kills left right and center 20 plus kills a game low deaths so it's obvious that you are doing well in your recent games i'm just going to put up a screenshot of your op.gg i mean you are dominating in the silver games but why are you silver i mean if you're really dominating in your games why are you stuck in silver um i very rarely have an account more than a month uh because i get perma banned a lot you get perma banned uh, at the moment 16 is the count and i don't plan on making it any higher you have 16 perma band accounts. Yeah, since season one. Are, are you toxic or do you, what's going on, dude? Very toxic. On okay, well, it used to be very toxic. I'm uh, quite quite chill now. I don't. Well, I would hope so. I mean, I don't want you being toxic in Diamond Ray. I'm about to place you, and I kind of want the account to be around a little bit longer. So yeah, let's go ahead and place you in Diamond. Although you are pretty toxic, uh, you are pretty good. So I mean, you say you're the best mastery in silver, and I kind of believe it looking at your stats. So let's go ahead and place you in NA Diamond. Let's do it. All right, guys, we are in game one with Timothy. Now, Tim is an EU West Silver Master E main, and he feels like he deserves that Diamond. So we're in game one here in a Diamond game. We're going to see how he does this game, and if he's truly the best Master E uh, on EU West. I mean, this is a NA game, right? So his ping is going to be 100. Uh, they go on the Kog'Ma, and he gets a really nice first blood on the enemy Kog'Ma. Maybe he is the best Master. I don't know. But, I mean, it was a lucky first blood. Um, he, sh he should definitely back here. I mean, get like a long sword or something, right? He has easily 400 gold, right? But so far, he is 1-0. He is starting that red buff. We're going to see how he does this game. All right, looks like Tim is actually going to go straight for, uh, yeah, Hecarim's blue buff here. And it should be a free camp here. I mean, nobody's really trying to stop him. Nobody knows that he's on it, right? And I'm surprised Hecarim actually didn't start blue buff since Hecarim is highly dependent on mana, right, for his Q. And looks like Hecarim is going to run into him. Nice, he smites it away. And now he is getting chased by the Hecarim. Hecarim's mad, dude. Um, I don't know if he can win this. I mean, Hecarim does have a Ignite. He doesn't really have anything. And Fizz is here. This could look good. I mean, I don't know why Fizz is running. There you go. Tim goes on the Hecarim. Pops the Ignite uh, from Fizz. And then nice. Another kill on Tim. Okay, so maybe this guy is the best Master Yi in EU West. I mean, he's coming to NA, right? He has 100 ping right now. And uh, he's doing pretty well in Diamond. Uh, dude, I feel like every single Hecarim that I see in Diamond is like really boosted. <laughs> I just don't know what they're doing. But very, very good so far. Very, very nice. Alright, here comes Tim going in for a gank. Oh, you should have queued that to uh, block the uh, J4EQ. Well, I don't think he had Q up there, actually. He's going to meditate to try to survive. Dang, Nass is going to get low and he's going to die. He's going to be forced to flash. Now, I, I think uh, if he had Q there... Okay, I'm not sure if he had Q... But queuing the EQ there would have been really, really nice. He's still 2-0, so he hasn't really lost anything out of this gank. I mean, he did lose his top laner, but I mean, it's a Nastis, right? He's a late-game carry anyways. Mid-game, late-game. And uh, so far, he does have BF Sword, so I think he's going to go for the Infinity Edge first. I'm not really sure why he decided to walk topside. I mean, he has no camps in the top side. Right? He should have he should have went immediately to Krugs or to Drake. I mean, he knew that Hecarim was just top lane, right? So, there was an opportunity to go Drake there, maybe. Alright, so Hecarim is top lane, and Tim does see that Hecarim is top lane, so he's going to go immediately for the blue buff, but it is warded, so he might be in a really bad spot here. Nami doesn't have ultimate quite yet, and a nice, he's going to smite it away. He's going to turn level 6 off that. Maybe he's going to go in. Nah, he's just going to retreat. Sadly, his uh, support wasn't there. But no, I mean, nothing really much happening this game. It's kind of just him farming upright, trying to get to that mid lane. Or sorry, mid-game, late-game power spike that Mastery has. You know, when he gets to that late-game, nobody can really kill him. I feel like, uh, yeah, definitely Tim is a lot stronger than Hecarim right here. Hecarim does have Ignite available, though. He definitely has to be careful. Nice, right, gonna Q. And uh, he's gonna get quite a bit of damage off, right? But not gonna be able to quite kill him. Here's Nami. And he's gonna decide to face check the bush. He's gonna get bubbled right away and the Ignite coming out. They're gonna CC him to death. Tim goes down. So face checking that bush just wasn't a... It wasn't very smart, but I mean, he does have Alpha Strike, so I can't understand why he decided to face check. He's a strong character, right? He just got heavy CC, and he wasn't able to. He wasn't able to cue the bubble there either. Now, J4 actually went Executioner's Calling to negate a lot of that healing from 
from Master Yi and uh, Nasus. And here comes Tim, actually. He ults from the behind, right? Lane ganks the, uh, the G4. Doesn't quite... Uh, he does some pretty good damage here with the help of Nasus. Maybe they could kill the Hecarim. I'm not sure why J4 is just standing there. <laughs> but I guess he was sort of low, so he couldn't really do much. He didn't really have mana. But Tim gets a really nice kill on Hecarim. Mm. Tim is looking for a way to punish this uh, Hecarim. Tim may be going for the red buff here. I mean, this would be a really good play. He knew that he just killed the Hecarim, right? So he is waiting for that red buff to spawn. And he is 3 and 1 so far. He is doing extremely well. He's out farming the Hecarim as well, but he is mastery, so I would hope that he out farms the Hecarim. I mean, it'd be kind of embarrassing if he lost a farm, right? He's a mastery. He relies heavily on just getting enough farm for that late game. Here's Hecarim. He's going to go in the Nautilus. Nope, he's going to go on Tim. Now, Tim's in a really bad spot. He doesn't have a flash or ultimate here. So he's probably going to go down to the Hecarim. A little bit of an overstay, but I mean, I don't see why he stayed there. I mean, he should have just definitely took the red buff and then ran instead of staying in this bush. But I guess he did save the Nautilus, which I don't think is worth it because he was worth something, right? He was worth uh, quite a bit. All right, very good objective control. He sees that Hecarim is fighting the fist, so immediately starts the uh, the Cloud Drake, right? Very, very nice. And uh, Tim, all right, so he did die twice, right, to unlucky circumstances, but I mean, he's doing a proper job of controlling the map and really utilizing all his resources to get as much objectives as possible. He is really just taking all these camps from uh, Hecarim, giving him no chance. <laughs> he's going to try to take this. Let's see, nice, smites it away. Now, he doesn't have red smite or blue smite, so he can smite whenever he wants. So he does see Bot getting a little bit low, so he's gonna go for maybe a dive here. Yeah, Kogma is extremely low here. Saber gets a nice kill. He should go for the turret and then also kill Nami here. Should be an easy kill Nami. I don't know why he queued right away. Like there, he should never queue right away. I feel like he should definitely wait for the Nami bubble to come out so he could actually you know, alpha strike it and dodge it. But either way, I guess he does get the kill anyway, so it's not too bad, right? He realizes that Bot lane was getting into a fight, and then he walks away from the Raptors and goes Bot lane. He should almost have his Infinity Edge completed, and then once he gets that, he's pretty much unstoppable from what I've seen. Alright, so he does have his Infinity Edge completed, and they are sieging for that mid lane turret. Here comes J4. J4 is going to ult the Sivir. Now, this is a really bad spot. They need to get out. Looks like Tim's actually going to queue in, and he's going to get bubbled, and then he's just going to get one shot by the enemy Vladimir. Okay, that was a really bad play to go in on. I don't know why he decided to go in. I mean, Sivir was obviously cut out there, and that uh, diving just didn't really make any sense. And if you are going to dive, make sure you save alpha to to reset the turret aggro just so you're not tanking like 30 shots, right? And I know he does have meditate, but it just doesn't make sense to Q right away. So his Qs this game are a little bit questionable right here and there. Um, but I mean, he was playing well early. Right now he's kind of feeding. But here's Nasus, dude. Nasus is huge. Even though he only has two kills, this guy is literally 1v5. <laughs> he's 1v5ing the enemy team right now. You just got a triple kill and possibly another kill. Holy moly. Look at this guy go. A quadra kill. Nasus gets a quadra kill there. And Kog'Maw is going to leave the game. I'm pretty sure he reached quit there. So Tim is getting carried by the Nasus, I guess. He's uh, you know, he's controlling the map pretty well. He's there where he's supposed to be. But he is kind of get, getting carried right now. Like at the moment, he's getting carried. Let's hope he, let's hope he could possibly come back and actually do something. you know? Because lately, I, I don't really see much happening from him. He's kind of just going in and then he just dies. So Now uh, Drake is coming up. The wind drake right but they are gonna go for the turret here's j4 just sitting in the bush <laughs> blue team not even gonna catch the j4 in the bush right there nice another kill coming out for silver dude that nasus just does an incredible amount of damage j4 from the behind can't really do much right and he's gonna meditate to get all his health back and they should be able to get another turret here i mean hecarim's top lane right kogmo just died and uh, nami died as well so very very nice yeah, this game is like a total steamroll from, from blue team. Red team can't really do much unless, you know, blue team dives, of course, right? So all they really have to do here is just play it slow and they automatically win the game with Nasus. I mean, Nasus has 70 stacks. Hey, this guy has 400 stacks so far at 20 minutes. I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, I don't know what Nasus means out there. I think is good or not, right? I think 400 stacks at 20 minutes is pretty good. I mean, it looks, I mean, the amount of damage is pretty good. So he's going to go for the cloud. Nice. Picks up another Cloud Drake. So far, he is 3-3-3. Three, three, and three. Now, he's not contributing a lot when it comes to, like, damage, right? But his team knows what they're doing, right? And he's just following around. Because he is a silver player. May I remind you, he is a silver player. This guy is not a high elo player. And uh, he's just doing what he's told, right? He's walking around the map, 
Trying to get some damage off right. Here's Vladimir. Hopefully he can live here. I mean, he, yeah, he has to meditate here. Q. Wow, he actually dies there. He should have definitely queued a lot earlier. Um, he's going to go down, but his team is just so freaking strong at the moment. <laughs> I guess he's a worthy sacrifice. Here comes Nastus. Let's see what Nastus does here. Nastus. Another kill. Plus six. Alright, Nasus doesn't have ultimate, but he is still pretty strong. He's gonna go in the hack rim. One more stack. Oh my gosh, gets incredibly low. Does have that triumph. It looked like triumph. And then another stack right there, dude. <laughs> Tim is pushing that mid lane. So far this game, Tim is 3, 4, and 3. Really nothing happening when it comes to this game. I mean, this game is incredibly slow. Tim has not found many opportunities to do much this game. I mean, he was able to get some pretty good ganks off uh, early, right? And he was able to counter gank and counter jungle a lot. And I uh, get some objectives, but right now he's pretty useless in these fights. I don't see him doing it, like, a lot. Compared to, like, the Sivir or Nasus, he's not really doing that much. Nasus. Wow. Dude, this guy just doesn't die. This guy just doesn't die. Tim gonna push out the bot lane while his top lane or his teammates are top lane. And they're gonna ease the enemy team. I'm pretty sure that's just GG. All they really have to do is push out the lanes and then that's gonna end the game. And uh, that is gonna be GG. Tim wins his first game ever in NA Diamond. Not only is he a silver player, but he has 100 ping. That is pretty insane. Although, if you look at his score, he didn't really do much. <laughs> I would definitely say he did get carried this game right, but he did make some pretty good plays early on. He got the first blood, right? He counter jungled. And he did he did outperform the Sekrim, I must say. So let's go ahead and talk to Tim and see what he has to say for NA Diamond. Let's do it. Alright, guys, we are out of game one with Tim. And now Tim, you went a whopping three, four, and four that game. You did alright. I mean, you got the first blood right, and your top laner just got so insanely strong. What are your thoughts about this game and how does NA Diamond differ from E West Silver? Well, that game, uh, it was mainly objective based um went mainly for objectives getting the drakes and the and the baron um essentially nasus carried the game i'm not gonna lie <laughs> he uh popped off he was kind of neutral and then got a 1v5 quadra kill which was very nice to see you don't see that in silver to be fair <laughs> um but overall it, it wasn't too difficult I, I did better than the enemy jungler um bear in mind i was silver so silver uh, with with high ping as well since you no i've i've had harder games in silver honestly where i've <laughs> I had to put more effort into the it than that game um it was a pretty good game though uh you completely skipped your jungle item you went for the ie which is kind of like typical in mash G, right uh, at and... the moment it's it's kind of the top tier build in the group called yemo which is a yemo main group so let's go ahead and place you in another game because that game was pretty uh it's kind of I don't, I don't want to say low quality, but I can definitely see you having a lot more potential to do better, right? And, yeah, uh, it was lackluster. Lackluster. Yeah, you just got hard carry, dude. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and place you in another game, and let's do it, man. Okay. All right, guys, we are in game two with the best silver mastery on the EOS server. Just kidding. All right, so Tim, second game of Diamond. We're going to see how he does. Now, last game, I'm not even going to lie, dude. That Nasus hard carried him, but he did make some pretty good decisions. Now, I'm not going to discount... You know, all the great plays that he made early on, but he definitely did get carried. We're going to see how he does this game, though. I mean, yeah, all I see in my DMs is Tim telling me he's the best mastery today. We're going to see how he does it. I mean, looks like Blitzcrank is going to get rooted up. And nice. He's going to help kill and get a nice kill. Uh, very good root from the Lux. And so far, he is 0 0 1. So Yasuo is fairly strong here. He's 1 0, right? Here comes Volleybear coming in for a gank. Tim is, yeah, Tim is on the way. He says he's on the way, right? Nice, Yasuo gonna stall for a little bit. Nice, Tim gonna go in. He's gonna just Q and kill the, the Kiana. That's pretty quick. A very, very easy kill for Tim. Let's see what happens here. I mean, Volleyberry is just gonna go straight for the Yasuo. Tim getting a lot of damage off. He just smited for... No, he didn't smite. Okay, there you go. He smites the Scuttle for some extra HP, HP there. And uh, another kill for the Vigar. And then Urgot getting really low. He does have Flash. Oh. Tim going for the flash auto attack and getting another kill. So far, he is 2-0-2. He's playing the fights pretty well.
no big mistakes here and it uh, looks like he's gonna go for the bf sword uh, boots right and i think he might go for the ie once again all right so it looks like volibear is actually doing the infernal tim gonna hit the plant but i don't think he what how does he not see this <laughs> yeah, volibear <laughs> oh volibear is gonna flash over tim's in a really bad spot he's gonna get knocked up and he's gonna he's gonna die to the volibear okay i'm not sure how in the world he didn't how did he not see that that's kind of nuts. Yeah, so he does flash a bill. <laughs> this is a fiesta, boys. Nice. Okay, so that was kind of interesting, I guess. I mean, <laughs> Volibear got really low. He decided to flash over, right? And uh, Tim didn't quite see the Volibear there. Okay, that's pretty funny. Um, Tim's doing all right. It, a really weird play right here. I don't know how he not he did not see the Volibear on the Infernal. But, I mean, he does have Lux here, so maybe they can go for it. Nice places. Now, I don't like this pink ward. So, the reason why I don't like this ward right here is that it actually doesn't get uh, all the vision out of the pit, right? They still have vision right here if they place a ward. The controller doesn't stop the ward. So, uh, I'm pretty sure he does see Volibear. No, he doesn't see Volibear going topside. Let's... Alright, looks like they're going to go for the Infernal. Very nice call. Uh, knowing that, you know, I guess... I guess they don't really know that Volibear is topside, right? But it's a very nice call for them to go for it. Very good objective control. And uh, I think he's going to, yeah, he's going to be able to easily pick up another Infernal here. Or his first Infernal, sorry. What do you mean other Infernal? Man, not bad. Ooh, maybe this is good. Maybe, the, yeah, this should be good. Let's we'll see how, nope. Uh, is he going to go for it? Okay, I guess he just doesn't go for it. I think he has to now. <laughs> what am I watching? So he, he, like, hesitates on when to go in, right? And then he pops the ultimate and then like runs away. Like, <laughs> not, it was, it's good that he didn't go in on on the play, right? But I don't know why he popped the ultimate if he wasn't gonna go on the play initially. Kiana incredibly low. Here comes Tim. Tim looking for the kill and Kiana flashes, cues and gets a nice kill on the Kiana Blitzcrank. Uh, he's doing some really good damage. He's gonna cue. Nice, a double kill coming out. Not sure why Urgot ulted. I guess he was going for the Yasuo. Totally missed, though. So far, Tim is 4-1. and one. Wow. That Jinx ult just barely, barely missing. 4-1. and one Going for the IE once again. He has 65 CS, so he is out farming the Volibear, right? And he is out objective controlling the Volibear as well. He does have an Infernal on him. And he's doing really, really well. I mean... I wouldn't say this guy is the absolute best uh, silver master E on the US, but he, he's, he's pretty decent. And he says something about, he said something before the game about how Volibear is a super easy matchup and this should be an easy game. And I kind of do believe him now. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely do believe him, believe him now. Wow, he's actually taking a ton of, dude, Volibear is busted. What is that damage? Oh my gosh. And that Tim is going to go down. It's up to Yasuo. Yasuo does have ultimate. Oh, uh, Yasuo? Nice try. Tim gonna go down. Dude, <laughs> Volibear just did so much damage here. Volibear did an insane amount of damage there, and he did not have any, you know, damage items as well. So, Volibear is sort of OP. Uh, right when I said that Tim was pretty confident going into this matchup, he actually dies to the Volibear. It's kind of funny. <laughs> no wind wall. Oh, that was really bad. Oh. Now, there is no ward here. Jinx gonna face check. Nice kill. And he's gonna go for this dive. He does have everything up. No, he doesn't have ultimate though. Oh, Q's in. Get some really nice damage. Meditate. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, all right, nice try. Uh, <laughs> I actually was expecting him to live there. Maybe if he meditated earlier, that would have been a lot better. I actually did expect him to, to live through that, but it just didn't work out, I guess. So far, he is 6, 3, and 4. He's doing the absolute best on his team. So, I'll give him props for that. And also, another Infernal is coming up quite soon. So, hopefully, he'll go for that right away. Hopefully, he won't waste his time with the silly red buff and go for Infernal. See, a silver player would immediately go for red buff, right? But Tim is the best mastery in EU West. And he sees that Infernal is spawning quite soon. So, he's just going to go for it right away. But, very nice. He's 6, 3, and he's going to get another Drake. Dude, this, this Volibear is not very good. Why is he not prioritizing the Drakes? Instead, he's prioritizing a 1v1 against Yasuo. Like, <laughs> what are you doing, Volibear? 
This is diamond, by the way, guys. I'm not lying. This is actually diamond. People think people say like clickbait. This is actually silver. No, guys, this is diamond. Come on, Tim, get a kill on her. He's not gonna go for it, but he is gonna go for a double kill possibly on the enemy bot lane. I mean, this looks so free. Tim, if you don't get a double kill, yeah, Tim should easily get a double kill here. No, no question about it. Nice one kill on it. The Jinx. He does have the IE, so he does quite a bit of damage. But yeah, 7, 3, and 4. He does have the IE. He's secured two infernal so far. He's doing great. He's gonna Q and get another kill on the counter. That, that was a little bit too easy, I feel. I feel like Kiana definitely really needs to put up a fight. I mean, she's one in six, right? Tim doesn't have ultimate, but he does have flash available. He's getting really close to never mind. That wasn't his stun. Tim gonna get knocked up, and he's just gonna die to the blitz crank there. And a uh, Vigor also gonna die. And Jinx is gonna die as well. The 1v1 coming out. Urgot versus Yasuo. It's obvious who's going to win. I mean, Lux is here. Everyone's here, right? Tim's going to KS the kill. He's going to come in, say this is my kill, and then just Qs, right? Lux, very nice. She's solo. Tim, another kill. Wow, actually, <laughs> Lux actually KS is that. I mean, it was her kill, right? She did Q him. Tim? Wow. Tim has some actual balls, dude. He is not afraid of diamonds whatsoever. I guess he has so much experience on the champion. It just doesn't matter. And he has Rift Herald. Dude, this guy is this guy is playing so well. First game he got carried. This game he hard carried. His teammates did do well though. I'm not gonna say that he solo carried right, but he definitely did do the absolute best on his team. He's worth 200 gold. Yeah, they just need to end this game. Tim's like, get me out, dude. Give me my LP. And I, I think that's going to be GG. Tim trying to end the game, but instead he's going to go on the... Okay, I'm not sure why he decided to go for the kill and ruin his KDA instead of ending the game. And that is going to wrap up game two. Tim takes home another victory. Let's go ahead and talk to him and see what he has to say for this game. I mean, after these two games, I'm totally thinking that he's totally hyped. And he's like, dude, I'm the best mastery ever. I told you, bro. Let's go ahead and talk to Tim and see what he has to say for the game. Now, Tim, this was just a much better game overall. Your total score was 10, 5, and 6, and you had 5 CS per minute, 64% kill participation rate. And I think this game, I think you solo carried. I think you did, I mean, you did the best on your team, obviously, right? Like, what Easily. are your thoughts about that game compared to last game? So, that game, I was a lot more relaxed. Uh, I knew kind of what to expect, especially because I played the Volley Bear matchup uh, numerous times. And um, just because he's a hard tank and in silver, a lot of people go, oh, hard tanks with CC beat ye. But a lot of the time, that's not the case. Um, so that game was a lot easier for me. I actually uh, found it very easy. Essentially controlling the jungle, just making sure Volley couldn't gank. He was behind essentially the whole game. Mm -hmm. uh, I did wherever I could to get the Yasuo ahead and even gave the Caitlyn an early game first blood. Uh, I could have very easily took it, but I wanted to try and put her ahead, even though she decided to waste it and not really do much. A team player. Uh, yeah, obviously. Obviously team player. Uh, this, uh, game, this game was uh, a huge coin flip. I mean, the enemy team just got like steamrolled. If you look at all their lanes, I mean, Kiana was 1-8. and eight. I think you ganked her quite a bit. Mid lane was 0-3, yeah. right? Yeah, this game, you just absolutely stomped. I mean, you, you got the most kills on the team, right? I think you played this really, really well. I have a quick question. After these two games, do you feel like you personally feel like you deserve diamond? Personally, maybe not so much diamond, not to seem too big-headed. I'd say maybe mid-plat, high-plat, um, especially on silver, on EU, I mean, uh, just because I've got, I've got kind of the ping advantage on EU. I don't have the ping advantage on NA at all. Now, after these two games, do you like EU or NA more? If it's between EU Silver or NA Diamond, it's kind of definitely the NA Diamond. It was a <laughs> much better atmosphere. Mm, people were a lot nicer, right? You said something about be like them being overly positive in the second game. In the second game, it was essentially just full of everyone saying congratulations and good job. Uh, Caitlin, at the end of the game, said thank you to the team for carrying, uh, just because she knew she wasn't doing the best, uh, or she wasn't participating that much. Um, but to be fair, I'm used to EU Silver and nothing is less positive than EU Silver, to be honest. <laughs>
that is uh, extremely true. I should probably do a video visiting US over, but I personally think you deserve maybe around platinum. I'd say that's around, that's around right. But uh, this video is based around the comment section and what people think. So let me know in the comment section below whether you feel like Tim deserves diamond, bronze, silver, or even E West iron. But you know, there's going to be a poll in the top right corner as well for you to vote. I love you guys. Uh, subscribe and like if you are new. Let's go, Slinger, and I'm out. See you guys. Peace.